What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. This is for the Sign of Sag. Weekly reading for 11 15 of 2022 to 11 22 of 2022. This will resonate if you have Sag any aspects of your charts. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Ortho, Moon, Hammer, Jupiter charts. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, let it apply. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate. Leave the rest. Free gift for the reading for the Sign of Sag. This can resonate if you have Sag in any aspects of your chart. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Ortho, Moon, Hammer, Jupiter charts. Love you guys so much. Thanks for all the new subscribers. Thanks for all the love and support to the channel. You guys are just the best. Um, okay, so I received two channel messages as I was meditating on your energy for weekly energy, Sag. Our first message I heard was spiritual jail. That was the first one. And the second one I heard was shocking news coming. For some of you guys, it's going to be positive. For some, it's going to be negative. So spiritual jail, that could be you in spiritual jail or somebody you're connected to in spiritual jail. And shocking news coming. Um, for some, it's going to, it sounds like it's, the news is coming to you soon. Whether it's going to be positive or negative, shocking news, Sagittarius. You plug it in, how it resonates. Apple, temptation will test you. Bat, take care, enemies are working against you. Oh my gosh. Spirit messages you have, Sun Sag. A Piscean feminine is about to find out about a Sagittarius feminine and a Scorpio communicating. This Piscean is about to not mess around. This Sagittarius feminine needs to hear this. Oh my God Almighty. Holy crap, you got Piscean energy in here. A Pisces fam is about to find out about a Sag fam. Secret communication. Secret communication. Okay. So, Pisces fam, energy sliding in your energy, Sag. Pisces fam is about to find out about um, you secretly communicating with the Scorpio masculine. You're a Sag fam, if that resonates for you. I heard um, she's about not miss Ram. Um, she sounds low vibrational or high vibrational, and she's going to, I don't know. I don't know if she's high vibrational or low vibrational, but she's not going to mess around, I'll tell you that. Whoever she is. She can have Pisces in her sun, moon, rising, Venus, or no moon, Hammer, Jupiter, charts. Hopefully, you know who you're dealing with here with the Scorpio masculine, not anybody else. Spirit messages you have not that. But there's a reason you're secretly communicating with the Scorpio masculine if this is you, Sag fam. Um, so this Pisces fam is connected to this Scorpio masculine. So it this doesn't sound good. I'm just saying. It really doesn't. Starfish and horse. For some of you dealing with water sign, that's Scorpio masculine. For one, you're secretly communicating with or any other water sign. Uh, they could have Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, and their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Wolf, No, Many, which you your charts. Or Earth sign, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. They could have Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, and their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Wolf, No, Many, which you your charts. Oh, my God. Spirit message, okay. Manifesting dreams, number 46 could be a very significant number in one's life. Number 46, it could be a possible age of viewers, somebody you're connected to, or any other significant number in one's life, number 46. A Taurus that was once a very positive part of a Sagittarius's life is about to become a nightmare. A Sagittarius needs to hear this. Oh, my God. A Taurus that was once a very positive part of a Sagittarius's life is about to become a nightmare. Heard a nightmare. Uh, at least one of you, Sag, needs to hear this. Whoever this Taurus is to you, I feel they could be masculine and Taurus. And they could have Taurus in any aspects of your charts, of, of their charts. But they were once a very positive part of your life. Now they're about to become a nightmare. There's a reason they're about to become a nightmare. I'm just saying. I don't think in a scary horror movie, horror movie kind of way. Um, I think in a real life nightmare kind of way. Starfish.
A conversation with a water sign at a loan company is about to become very significant for a Sagittarius. A conversation with a water sign at a loan company is about to become very significant for a Sag. So one of you guys, you're dealing with the loan company or you're about to be dealing with the loan company. Maybe you're trying to manifest your dreams and dealing with the loan company. Either are, I feel for some, you've already been dealing with the loan company. For some, you're about to be. And I feel for some, you're dealing with the loan company to try to manifest your dreams or you're about to be dealing with the loan company to manifest your dreams. But for one, upcoming communication with the water sign at this loan company, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio at this loan company is about to become very significant. I feel this could be in a positive or negative aspect, but it sounds like a water sign that works for the loan company. Um, this is your water sign that works at the loan company. I feel this can go in a positive way or a negative way. A child star award is about to become very significant in a Sagittarius's life. Well, that's a good one. A child star award is about to become very significant in Sagittarius' life. A child star award. So a star award, uh, it sounds like a child is about to receive a star award. So it could be your child about to receive a star award or your stepchild about to receive a star award or a child you're closely connected to or just know somebody's child or grandchild, somebody's child, whether it's your child, somebody you're connected to, your child, your grandchild, whoever, somebody's child is about to receive star award. And it sounds like it's good. Like a physical star, like a star award. That's good. Just saying, just saying. Horse. A huge medication change in a child's life is about to become very significant. Very significant. In a very positive way. It hasn't happened yet. A huge medication change in a child's life is about to become very significant. Um, in a very positive way, it hasn't happened yet. So, um, some kind of huge medication change upcoming in a child's life is about to become very significant in a very positive way. So it sounds like it's going to help the child in a very positive way. It's some kind of huge medication change, but it hasn't happened yet. I think it's going to make them more lighthearted and carefree, um, more childlike. Um, the child is like a zombie. The child is like a zombie is what I heard. The child is like a zombie. So whoever this child is, it could be a water sign or an earth sign child or somebody that has water sign or earth sign placements or any other child, but somebody's, either your child or somebody you're connected to's child is like a zombie. So they're hopped up on medicine, basically. And they're not a real kid. Um, it hasn't happened yet. It's somebody, it, it hasn't happened yet. It's going to make them more carefree and lighthearted like a free-spirited horse. Um, cause right now I heard they're zombie like, so you plug it in, how it resonates, Sag, whoever this child is <clears throat> and how they are connected to you. A fire sign feminine, very free spirited fire sign feminine is about to get high honor. It's about to shock the hell out of you. You were trying to block it so bad in the past for one, for one, you're about to help her get it. Okay, a fire sign femme is about to get high honor. I heard, um, for one, you were trying very hard to block the fire sign femme from getting high honor in the past. For one, you're going to help the fire sign femme get high honor. So you have to plug yourself in wherever you fit Sagittarius in this mix. Whether you are you tried very hard to block the fire sign femme's high honor in the past, or you're going to help the fire sign femme get high honor. I feel you can be masculine femme Sagittarius if that resonates for you. Have Sag any aspects of your charts. But her, she's very free-spirited. Um, I think she might have Pisces in her chart. So Pisces on the horse there, the uh, moon symbol. That symbol is symbolism, symbolistic of Piscean energy, just saying. I think she might have Pisces in her chart or just be very highly intuitive. 
Um, there's a reason she's about to get high on her. And I think it has something to do with her intuition with the Pisces symbol. Just saying, just saying. For one, you tried very hard to block her high on her in the past. For one, you're about to help her get it. So only you know your situation and story, not anybody else Sagittarius, okay? But she's very free-spirited, spir carefree fire sign. She could have Aries, Leo, Sag, and her Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North, Node, and Haven, Jupiter charts, if that resonates and applies for you, Sagittarius. For one, you're positively connected to her. You're going to help her get it. For one, I don't think you like her ass. And that's why you blocked her from um, preventing it, her from getting it in the past. And that's just the truth. Apple temptation will test you. A Scorpio masculine is about to be a serious test for a Sagittarius feminine. Very serious test. Are you going to pass the test or fail the test? Sexual test. Oh, go. Yay, Sag. And I was pulling in a lot of Sag energy in Scorpios. Just saying, just saying. Okay, so for one of you guys, a Scorpio masculine, you're a Sag fam. A Scorpio masculine is about to be your sexual test. So he's about to be. The apple that I guess you want to bite or he wants to bite your apple. How that resonates and applies. You both want to bite each other's apple. Hell, I don't know. Only you know how bad you want this Scorpio or how bad this Scorpio wants you. It's a Scorpio masculine and it's about sex here. Um, it's very sexual, sex one energy. Um, biting that, biting that ass. Just saying, just saying. Like that. Or, or whatever you want to bite on the butt. I mean, I'm not going there, but. I heard he basically, um, he's going to be your sexual test. Are you going to pass or going to fail? So I think he's going to try to come in to you with sex wine energy or, you, or maybe you want him and you're going to come into him with sex wine energy. But I feel the majority of you guys, he's going to try to come into you with the sex wine energy and are you going to pass or fail basically? Are you going to be tempted? Are you going to let him bite your apple or not? You're a Sag fam. He's Scorpio masculine. He doesn't, I mean, I heard, are you going to pass or are you going to fail? So I think he's very karmic, very karmic. I don't think he'd be good for your situation. I mean, he's coming in with temptation will test you. He's not coming in as an emperor energy. I'm, I mean, I'm just making that clear, okay? Bat, take care. Enemies are working against you. A Taurus at your workplace is about to make your life hell. For one, they're in corporate. For one, they're in a facility. It's a skilled nursing facility. Okay. Okay, we're pulling in very heavy Tauran energy in a, in a skilled nursing facility, whether they work in corporate for the skilled nursing facility or they work in the facility in the skilled nursing facility, in the actual facility. Heavy Taurus energy. They could be a masculine in Taurus. They could have Taurus in any aspects of their charts. I heard they're about to make your life a living hell. So take care. Enemies are working against you. This Taurus doesn't like you or they're about not to like you or not like something you've done or you did or something. How that resonates and applies, Sagittarius, they're about to become your enemy energy. I think you work with them um, or work around them. I think you work for this corporation, for this skilled nursing facility is what I feel. Um, that's what I feel. Um, one, they work, one of these horses that work in corporate, one, they work in the facility, but I think you work in the facility. Maybe for one, you work in corporate, but I didn't hear you did, but I feel there's a reason I pulled in corporate and the facility. I think you work in the facility, but it's a Taurus and there's two of them. One, they work in corporate and one, they work in a facility. They're about to start making your life a living hell. Whoever this resonates and applies for, take care of enemies that work against you as a Taurus. That works in a corporation for a skilled nursing facility. Things are about to go downhill with this relationship with this Taurus. 
in a huge way. Things are about to go downhill with this relationship with this Taurus in a huge way. So for you, Sagittarius, sounds like if this resonates for you, I strongly feel you work in a skilled nursing facility. I heard your relationship with this Taurus, whether they work in corporate or in the facility, or maybe you're dealing with both. Um, however that resonates and applies, your relationship with either one Taurus or both of them, or however that resonates and applies, it's about to decline in a huge way. They could have Taurus in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, or them in Haven and Jupiter charts. I think it's a co-worker or a boss, manager, boss, supervisor, or CEO, or what have you, what have you, okay? Heavy torn energy. A shocking phone call from an Aquarius. You are not going to want to hear this phone call. It is about to shock you. It's going to, you are not going to want to hear this. Oh, my Lord. Aquarius energy. I, okay. Shocking phone call from an Aquarius. Master of Aquarius. They can have Aquarius in any aspects of their charts. Um, whoever this Aquarius is to you, you're not going to want to hear it. And that was double deuces confirmation. You're not, you're not going to want to hear it, um, Sag. For one, they are a co-worker. Sentinel event. Oh, my God. For one, they're a co-worker. Sentinel event. I think you work in healthcare. I heard Sentinel event. Sentinel event. Um, you work in healthcare. And a sentinel event is not good. Uh, we're going to Google this. I know what it is, but we're Googling so everybody knows. Sentinel, one of you definitely work in a skilled nursing facility. For one, you could work somewhere else in healthcare. But an Aquarius co-worker is about to call you about a sentinel event. Sentinel events are never good. Never, never good if you work in healthcare. Never good. Sag, I mean, I'm sure you know this, but damn. I mean, I could explain what it is, but I'm just going to read it out. So everybody's on the same page. Oh my God Almighty. Sentinel events are types of adverse events. Sentinel event is defined, defined by JACO Joint Commission, which is the governing body of hospitals, by the way, are unexpected occurrences involving death or serious physical or psychological injury or risk thereof. Serious injury specifically includes loss of limb or function. So I heard it was an Aquarius co-worker that's about to call you about a sentinel event. So I think for one, the sentinel event could happen in a skilled nursing facility. For some, it could happen anywhere else where there's health care involved. Um, how that resonates and applies. For one, it's hospital. For one, it's skilled nursing facility. For one, it's a therapy patient. For one, it's hospital. For one, it's a uh, skilled nursing facility. And for one, it's a therapy patient. Okay, we're going to read it again. Sentinel events are adverse types of events. Sentinel events, as defined by Joint Commission, which is JACO, are unexpected occurrences involving death or serious physical or psychological injury or risk thereof. Serious injury specifically includes loss of limb or function. So, I mean, that's not good. Just saying, just saying. A signal event is a patient safety event that results in a death, permanent harm, or severe temporary harm. So, signal events are debilitating to both patients and healthcare providers involved in the event. So, I heard skilled nursing facility, hospital, and a therapy patient. So you have to plug yourself in. You're, I feel you're in a workplace dynamic and the Aquarius is about to call you about a patient, either in a hospital, a skilled nursing facility, or therapy patient with, uh, with some kind of sentinel event. That's, that's really not good. It's truly, if you're experienced in the healthcare field, you know this. Jug, lighthearted, carefree time.
A dinner date is about to become very significant in a Sagittarius' life. One, it's your husband you're going to go with. For one, it is your secret third party. One, it is a new energy to you. Very light side. You are very single. Okay, well, congratulations. So, date energy. Wow, congratulations, Sags. Okay, so you have to plug yourself in where you fit. For one, you're married. You're going to go with your husband. So, congratulations. Nothing wrong with that. For one, you are, it's a secret third party. So, I think you're either legally married or you're in a committed relationship with somebody else. And there's a reason you have a secret third party. Okay? And for one, you're single as a Pringle like me. And you're about to go on a date. With a brand new light, uh, I heard uh, high vibrational energy. So congratulations! So lighthearted, carefree time. Whether it's a date with your husband, a secret third party, or um, a new to you high vibrational energy. Congratulations! It hasn't happened yet. It sounds like it's upcoming. A movie night with your family is about to become very significant. And going out. Single. A movie night with your family is about to become significant for one. And going out single, single little Pringle, is significant for one. So you're going to go out uh, with your family with movie night for one. And for one, you're going to go out single to Pringle. Lighthearted, carefree time. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Manifesting dreams. A Sagittarius is about to step up and help a fem energy single mother get her kids back. She sees what's really going on. A Sagittarius fem is about to step up and help. Um, for one, it's a masculine. For one, it's a fem. Okay. So for one, you're a masculine. One, you're a fem. Going to help a, a, a single mother, I heard, get her kids back. Um, I heard you're seeing what's really going on. So I feel you're a high vibrational Sag. You treat people honestly, trust, respect, morals, ethics, integrity, and values. You have Sag any aspect of your charts. One, you're high vibrational masculine energy. One, you're high vibrational femme energy. But however that resonates, you see what's really going on. Um, now, I think in the past you didn't, but now you do. So you're going to step up, step it up, and help the single mother manifest her dreams because apparently her kids have been taken away from her is what I'm presuming because I heard help her get her kids back. And I think it's two or two plus kids. Um, you see now what's really going on. I don't. I think you might have been clouded in the past. Is what I feel. But if you fit over here, you're a high vibrational Sagittarius, man or woman. You could have Sag any aspects of your chart: Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Ortho, Moon, Libra, Jupiter, Charge. About to help her get a kids back. Um, you're going to help her manifest her dreams. I think you know some important information, or know something that could help her, or or however you're going to help her get a kids back. I'm not sure. Only you know the actions you're going to take to help this single mother get her kids back. Sagittarius. One, your high vibrational femme energy. One, your high vibrational masculine. You plug it in how it resonates, okay? I think her kids um, light up her life is what I think. They most certainly do. And you know this. Okay, it's confirmation. Her kids most certainly light up her life. Yeah, but you know they do. So kudos to you for stepping up and helping her. Manifest her kids back, sir, ma'am. I would do that for anybody, any high vibrational person. If I knew some important information that would help a single parent out that I knew deserved it. Now, there are single parents that don't deserve it, and that's just the truth. Um, but there are ones that do. 
So you plug it in how it resonates. A grandchild's first words is about to become very significant in Sagittarius's life. And a picture a grandchild draws you. A grandchild's first words and a picture a grandchild draws you is about to become very significant in your life, Sagittarius. So for at least two of you, you have grandchildren. Uh, masculine and grandchildren, I think they're young. Uh, because one of them, I heard first words, so I think, what, a year old maybe? Maybe, um nine months first words um so they're very young nine months to a year i'm presuming something like that depending um and for one a picture they're going to draw you so i feel that could be like two to 18 or 17 two to 17 um it's a child a grandchild well for some it could be an adult grandchild uh, i heard grandchild so the picture drawing could be an adult but the first words i think is like a Nine months old to a year old. Um, but it's going to be very special to your heart. Whoever these grandchild or grand grandchildren are that's about to speak their first words to you or draw you a very special picture. How that resonates and applies, Sagittarius. Someone is about to move into a Sagittarius' house, someone new. You're about to allow them to move into your home. For one of you, somebody, you are about to move out of somebody's home. Okay, so for one of you guys, you're about to allow somebody to move into your home. Um, new, new person move into your home, so it's your home. I feel you could rent or purchase, however that resonates and applies. And for one, you're about to move out of somebody's home. So maybe you're going to rent or purchase your own or move in with somebody else. How that resonates in the class, Sag. But for one, you're about to allow somebody to move into your home. And for one, you're about to move out of somebody's home. So how that resonates and applies, Sagittarius. I love you guys so much. I hope this helped. Namaste.